we're back at it again. 2023 is going to be a great camping season. It sure is. We got some really good trips planned. Uh, just a few to mention are one to East Harbor on Lake Erie with friends. No video there, just a good time. And let's see, a Kentucky Horse Park with friends again. Hoping Looking to, forward to that. Yeah, we're hoping to get a video for that one, so you should see that. And what is the other one that we had a good time last year that we're going to oh, again? Man. Uh the bandits adventure bandits <laughs> we're back uh we're back at their glamp out in june so that should be a good time and uh so we that, got to, so that will lake at wood lake yeah, that'll be a new one for us and we've got lots of other ones playing but those are just a few uh, if you have something good playing this summer let us know in the comments yes please please do leave them below leave the comments below yeah it doesn't have to be an epic trip just a fun trip yeah so exactly. just let us know what you're going to be up to this summer and um, share with the rest of us back to where we're at now though we are at miami whitewater um campground forest, forest. Yeah. it's in it's in miami whitewater forest but it's miami whitewater campground and it's part of the hamilton county great parks um now hamilton county great parks also includes winton woods which we love and you've seen a couple videos from there from us yeah. um One of our favorites yes we are very impressed with the hamilton county parks the great parks and um i don't think this one's going to be any different it's looking really good yeah, so we're nice so far so we rolled in last night and it was raining <laughs> um not hard but it was enough that yeah it wasn't very fun to be outside no, not at all. <laughs> but we got set up and uh it wasn't too bad and then it kind of cleared up a little bit. It didn't rain um, steady. Like we had some dry time. So we were able to, out, to get out and take a walk. And we actually went up to the Nature Niche gift shop. <laughs> Easy for you to say. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and um, just to learn a little bit more about the park so we knew what we were talking about today. <laughs> and when we were up there, we met the two ladies working, uh, Charlotte and Vicki, and they are super, oh, super nice. They're a riot, man. They're so much fun. <laughs> so if you get to come camp here and Vicki and Charlotte are here, tell them that uh, we sent you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're great ladies, and we had a great time visiting with them. I was in there like an hour talking to them. I think so. I mean, we almost closed the place down. Right. <laughs> <laughs> So anyways, our evening was pretty wet last night. It rained all night, but today is supposed to be better. So we're hoping to get out and show you all around. A uh, couple quick things about the, the park here. The forest is over 4,000 acres and the park that's nestled inside it, I believe is about 409 acres, I believe is what it is. Um, we do know that they, well, there's a lake. Let me see, I can tell you how many acres the lake is. Maybe, I got my little handy flyer here. And you know what, I don't see where it says that. But they do have a lake. Um, we'll try and, to find out. Yeah, and it we'll is. tell you more about that. Yeah, um, you'll see it here in a little bit. And they also have a disc golf course that was open in 1978. And supposedly it's the very first disc golf course here in, in Ohio. Ohio. Yeah. It's a nine hole. Um, but they say it's the first one. There's um, a golf course and um, dog park. There's hiking trails, both paved and unpaved. Um, there may be other things that we'll share along the way. Right. I'm sure we'll find stuff. <laughs> yeah. But uh, we'll get started and we're going to show you around our campsite before we get out of here and show you the campground itself and the rest of the park. All right, we are in site 145. And there are approximately uh, 45 sites here at the park, at the campground here. So it's not a big campground, and there's an upper loop and a lower loop. So that's kind of what our site looks like from our site. So I'm just going to walk out towards the road and show you what it looks like from the road. And there's looking down towards the lower loop of the campground. And that camper right there in the picture, we've already met them. We met our neighbors last night out for a walk. Super nice people. They're here on their maiden voyage, voyage with their new camper. So this is what our campsite looks like. It's very spacious. We're very happy with it so far. They have a super nice playground right inside the campground. Just look at that. Doesn't that make you want to be a kid again? <laughs>
beautiful playground. All kinds of fun for the kiddos. And as you can see, it's right close to the campers. So mom and dad can keep an eye on their kids when they're playing. All right, so now I'm gonna show you the restrooms and you can see how clean they are. Don't worry, I've checked, there's nobody in there. So let's just go on inside the women's restroom. And I'll show you how clean they are. There's a sink in the mirror area. Very well cleaned, or very well kept, very well maintained. Let's just open one of the stalls. And we saw them early this morning cleaning in here. It hasn't been used much yet, so it's still clean. But it was clean last night too, so they've been doing a very good job. But again, I think that's part of the great parks here in Hamilton County. They do a super nice job. So now we're going to go around to the back side of the building and I'll show you what one of the showers look like. So the showers are individual stalls and they are along the back side of the building. There they are right there. Let's just pick one and go inside. All right, so there's the inside of the shower. There is a bench along the wall that you can pull out and use to sit or put your stuff on. And you have the shower curtain. And again, very well maintained, very clean. Uh, they got the push button shower head, but very nice. They do a great job. So that's all for the bathrooms. All right, over here is the dump station. Now there's only one dump station here at the campground. And I don't know if you can see it on camera, but um, it's on a decent sized hill and it's on the wrong side when you come out of the campground. Um, I'm not sure why they did it this way. It makes no sense. But anyway, it's a dump station. You can dump right there. Uh, the water they're working on right now, they don't have water coming to it to flush. So, uh, But that should be done here in the next couple of weeks, they said. So yeah, that's the dump station on a hill. All right, here's another one of the potable water uh, fills. Thank you, Christy. <laughs>
also has the nature niche um, gift shop and they also have some critters in the back we'll take you inside and show you those in a little bit Bikes, boats, one well, thing's Mrs. Bidwax. <laughs> they got a very nice selection of boats here. You can ride the ducks. Oh yeah, dragon. Pontoons, <laughs> John boats. Got canoes over here too. I think some yeah, kayaks. Yeah, down here. Let's go check them out. And and they have bike rentals. And I did find out it's 85 acre lake is what it is. It's not terribly busy today because it's still chilly. It's only in the 50s today, so it's not busy out there. We'll go in here in a few minutes. Check out the the uh, what do you call that? I guess. Uh, be a bait shop, a tackle shop, I don't know. Where you rent the boats. Where you rent the boats. <laughs> Get a snack. They're eating. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Walking through, looking around. Do you have a list of like rental prices? Yeah. Like I said, this is my first boot purchase. For where? We have a YouTube channel. Oh, we, yeah? Yeah, Traveling Buck Eyes. Oh, okay. Okay. We talked to the ladies in here last night. For like an hour. <laughs> <laughs> they have all your disc golf needs here, let me tell you. Sure. They got disc golf, everything. So if you're into that, this is the place to buy your gear. Or your bag All the stickers here are pretty cool. Yeah, they have some cool cool stickers and some cool magnets. So I'm going to have to pick one out. Or maybe three. <laughs> uh, I'm going more like four or five. <laughs> Definitely at least a couple of stickers and a magnet. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? I love the names of Dolly Critters. Oh, yeah? Yeah. 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 We work hard on them. <laughs> Tomato's favorite food is tomato. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Certain box turtles like this, um, you can tell the gender just all their. Yeah. yeah. You don't have to flip them over and look for things. Yes. <laughs> so it's not as good how you doing, Clover? Yeah. So once they reach a certain age. Okay. How long will they stay in Um. So the captivity is way different than in the wild, mainly because predators. Yeah. They don't have to catch their own food. They have like every color. Yeah. We're here at the dog park. It's uh, about three miles from the campground. What's the name of it? It's called uh, Simmons Van Lake Dog Park. <laughs> <laughs> and the place is huge. So we're going to show you that. Bring your doggy down here. This has got to be one of the biggest dog parks I've ever seen. I know, all right? I mean, it's huge and they got many different areas to bring your puppers.
We're getting ready to take a bike ride on our e-bikes. I'm just looking at the trails. I think we're going to take the Shaker Trace Outer Loop. It's paved and it's 7.8 miles and it's moderate. So I think that's what we're going to do. And apparently there's some old Shaker houses along the way. So maybe we'll get to show those to you if we find them. So Shaker let's houses. Shaker houses. Shaker houses. <laughs> All right. Well, we're off. Okay. Well, that was a nice ride. Um, it's a little windy today, a little chilly, and we got sprinkled on, but it was still fun. We had a good time. Never found the shaker houses. I don't know. I don't know if they exist or not. <laughs> Maybe next time. Zoe's taking a walk and shaking. So what you got there? We have fake firewood. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it's called BioBlox. It says it's 100% all natural kiln dried hardwood sawdust. And the park, it pretty much says in the rules, I guess, that they want you to use either this or like lumber, like, you know, scrap lumber stuff. Um, because they do not want people bringing in firewood and um, with invasive uh, insects and uh, spreading insects from you know county to county but there's a lot of people here using firewood <laughs> we have firewood in the back of our truck we also have some lumber that's pieces and, and you know small chunks of it so if this doesn't work we have a backup so just so you know um, they encourage you to use this it was what, $7, $8? $7. Okay, and you get 12 blocks. And they have a diagram telling you how to stack them in the fire pit, and I'm gonna try that. So here we go. Huh. Apparently all 12 blocks should burn for four hours. <laughs> so we will see. You start out with four. Actually, I think you start out with eight all together, and then you add as you um, as your fire burns down. They also said to use a bio, what a bio starter, a bio block fire starter. Well, we don't have one of those, so we're going to use cardboard. <laughs> so, <laughs> so let me go get it set up, and then we'll show you how how we're doing with it. So okay. to read your instructions. <laughs> I read them to the best of my ability. <laughs> so I've got eight of the blocks here and I have two sets stacked the way they're stacked and they're supposed to be an inch apart. I've got some cardboard. So now I'm going to start I mean, light the cardboard and see what happens. <laughs> And we're back to fire starting 101 using these bricks. <laughs> it's been probably five minutes. We had to get more cardboard. Not a lot though. And it seems to be burning now. Oh my gosh, look at that. 
I mean, and it puts off a little bit of heat. Yeah. It's not going to be a raging fire. <laughs> no. I mean, this is not how we usually, you know, we usually use firewood. We, we usually do. But uh, well, we decided to try this just to see. Just to see. We were curious to see how it would work. And like I said, they encourage you to purchase this from them and or, or use, like, lumber. And, um, but nobody's doing it. <laughs> nobody's doing it. Like, everybody has a stack of firewood right next to their fire pit, so. But it'll work for a while. So for the Buckeyes, we got some bricks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so would you buy them again, you think? To be honest, probably not. <laughs> but it was a fun experiment. And it'll be interesting to see how long it lasts. Uh, like I said, we got four more of the blocks, and they're supposed to last 12, or no. <laughs> There's 12 of them. <laughs> and they're supposed to last for four hours. So we'll see. <laughs> We're going to be getting a firewood out here soon, <laughs> out of the truck. And that concludes firewood, or starting the fire with the Blocks 101. Thanks for joining. <laughs> While we're sitting here enjoying our block fire. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, it's warm, man. Look at the, it's flaming up. I wish up. you could see it. It is, there's plenty of flames. Well, they just seen it a few minutes yeah. ago. Yeah, <laughs> but it's gotten bigger since then. Uh, yeah, but anyways, it's about this tall. Okay. <laughs> anyways, while we're sitting here enjoying our fire, we just thought we'd go ahead and uh, wrap this video up and tell you what we thought of uh, Miami Whitewater. Uh, one thing I didn't mention earlier was we are just miles away from Indiana. We are in southwest Ohio, um, west of Cincinnati, if that helps. And we're only like 20 minutes away from Kentucky. So, you know, we're right here, Ohio, Indiana, Kentucky area. The tri-state. The tri-state, correct. Um, so that's how close we are to the other states. All right. So what did we think? I really like the campground. I had a good time. Yeah. I mean, you know, the weather wasn't perfect, but we don't hold that against the campground. Oh, no. Um, and it could have been a lot worse. Oh, yeah. So. But all the sites are, you know, it's, it's all woods. You know, it's like a little, I don't know, wooded. Uh, <laughs> it's a little wooded ground. campground. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, there's not a lot of sunny sites, even. Yeah, could you, I mean, it's covered in trees. There's yeah. trees everywhere. Yeah. Um, some sites are better than others. The site we're in, we love, love, love the site. 145. So if you're looking to find a great site, 145 is good. But there's a lot of decent sites. Um, and then some of them are kind of close. So if you want to come camp with a friend, there's some perfect like buddy sites that would be really good. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And there's um, a lot of kids here and they're enjoying the playground and, and you know, we can hear them having a good time. Yeah. So. <laughs> so anyways, um, let's see. I hope you got a glimpse of the disc golf we drove by it when we were on our bikes, so hopefully you'll get a glimpse of that. But it looked nice. We just didn't video the the disc golf. So, right. yeah. what else? The store, but the store has plenty of diff, disc golf uh, supplies. Supplies. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I mean, they're loaded up with them. <laughs> and you know how we mentioned the two ladies that were working in the store or the office, um, the little gift shop last night. Well, the two ladies working today were as nice as could be also yeah, um yeah. in fact everybody's been so friendly mm -hmm. uh, the lady that was working in the nature center was super knowledgeable and we learned so much about the critters in there just from her and uh she enjoyed you could tell she enjoyed telling about them yeah yeah, yeah. so we go yeah go check out cupcake the snake <laughs> they're all named after pastries all the critters are named after pastries which is pretty cool yeah so yeah, and the lake was nice. Um, you know, if it was a warmer day, summertime, I think it'd be you know very busy down there with yeah. the boats. And... and they got a ton of boats. I mean, I don't know how many they have, but it, it was a ton. So <laughs> I don't think they run out of boat rentals. So really, I mean, the restrooms were clean and super nice. Um, I don't know, everything was good except for one thing. Yeah, the dump station. <laughs> I mean, I showed you guys a few, at the beginning of the video, the dump station, it's on a hill. Uh, it's on the wrong side. So you have to actually go out of the campground and then come back in and pull up on this hill to dump. Or it's, you kind of could pull up in the Y because it kind of Ys. 
and you're supposed to go one way yeah. and back up. You can back into it if there's nobody else around, but you know, But it's still on a hill. Yeah, it's crazy. I've never seen anything like it. It's on the wrong side for when you're leaving. <laughs> it's on the wrong side. Yeah. It makes no sense. Yeah, it should be on the opposite side of the of the drive, but oh well. But hey, but you know, it is what it is and uh, If that's, that's our only only complaint yeah. That's the I'd, only complaint. I'd say it's a win. It's a good. It, it's yeah. been a great experience. So, yep. um, we hope that you guys get a chance to come out and check out Miami Whitewater. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Please give us a thumbs up and hit that bell so you're alerted to the next one. If you guys have any questions, please put them in the comments. We'll be glad to answer to the best of our knowledge. We sure will. All right, guys, have a good one. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye bye.